Shalom to Sheldon Shore of the Democratic uh, Party in Israel. Shalom. So, tell us about your Tuesday night. Well, look, I, uh, I went to sleep around 2 o'clock, uh, and I got up around 4.30, and there was a bit of a big change in those two and a half hours. Uh, at that time, it looked to me pretty clear that Hillary Clinton was going to win, and win fairly decisively. But uh, by the time I got up, it looked the, exactly the other way. And uh, look, it was a surprise, I think, to everybody. So what happened, Sheldon? You, you had a good reason to be optimistic yesterday. No, no. It seems, it seems that, first of all, the people who support Trump, which is basically uh, white males who are uh, non-college educated, that seems to be the, the sector that really supported him, which is a, a large portion of the population, uh, about 70% of the population, came out in large numbers to support him. The, uh, in fact, in one exit poll I saw, I had 58% to 36% supporting Trump among that uh, sector. Among non-whites, 74% supported uh, Clinton. But, A, it's about 30% of the population. B, they simply didn't come out in the numbers that, uh, that were needed. They weren't uh, energized enough. Uh, motivated enough, and that was that. Was, that changed the the whole election because it's, it's, it was very close in almost all uh, in almost all the states. But uh, Trump took those in all, all those states. Were you disappointed that Secretary Clinton did not come and address the the crowd, the supporters, last night? No, I don't think it's it's relevant. Uh, maybe uh, for whatever reason, maybe she's preparing a speech to to try to uh, later on. No, it's, I don't think it's important. What is, it, what is important, and I think it's, uh, is that she did call Donald Trump with a concession speech, even I think that CNN was still had 268 electoral votes, but she didn't wait, and she wants to uh, bring unity to the country, and uh, unlike Trump, who said that he would challenge uh, uh, a result if it's not in his favor, she went and I think did a grand and magnanimous gesture in speaking right away and early in order to try to heal the rift within the country. And I was very glad to see that Donald Trump picked up on that theme and he himself said that he's trying to be, the, he wants to be the president of everybody. And I truly hope that uh, he'll be able to fulfill that mission. How do you look at the reactions, the hopes that uh, Trump will be especially supportive of Israel? Look, uh, it is, I think that both Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton would be good presidents for the state of Israel. I think that the connection between Israel and America on the, on the political level, on the state level, uh, is high. They have common interests and they work together and both countries work together. And I don't see any particular president, whether it's this or that or the other, uh, would, would do anything to harm that sort of relationship. So I have every reason to believe that both of them would be excellent. A difference between them is Hillary has a proven track record of friendship to Israel. He doesn't. So with him, it's a bit of hope. But I'm, I, I think I'm, I'm very, very hopeful that he will be a good friend for Israel. And, uh, and let's see. Let's see. Let him prove himself. As a Democrat, how do you see the role, your role, the role of your other party members now, after the election? The, the election is over. And I think it, and Donald Trump is not, not, he was not my choice. I say that frankly. But I believe in the democratic process. The people have spoken. And I'm prepared for to him to be the president, my president. And uh, in, his, in his acceptance speech, in his speech tonight where he announced his victory, he says he is prepared to be the president of all the people. And I truly hope that's what's going to happen. And I hope that uh, the, the very terrible rifts and uh, between different groups in the country uh, that uh, were let out during the discussions leading up to the presidency election, uh, I hope that they will be rift, uh, uh, dealt with, and I hope that he will truly be the president of all the people. And now we see people in Israel hoping for a real change that you know, now maybe even people will be able to build in Jerusalem with no interruptions. Let's see what his plans are. I don't know what his policies are. I don't know what it, I, I don't know if he's really given it much thing. I think he's got other priorities than to decide upon building. So, so this may be one way that uh, it'll be quieter because he's got these other priorities that he that he that he probably wants to do. Uh, as I said, uh, Hillary. My feeling was Hillary Clinton would be an excellent president uh, and a friend of the state of Israel on a proven track record. Uh, Donald Trump, it's a gamble. It's hope. 
uh, but I hope that uh, he will prove himself, and uh, and I look forward to uh, to uh, to another four to four good years of uh, good relations between the United States and Israel. Sheldon Shore, thank you very much for joining us. Our pleasure.